Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R650 server. In this video, we're gonna specifically focus on network cards. Let's get going. Hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R650 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, Click that like, smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in now. This video is dedicated to network cards. So what we're gonna do in this video is we are gonna go over the different types of cards. We're gonna go over the different interfaces, the different speeds. We're gonna show you how to physically install both types of cards. And then at the very end, we're gonna put up a compatibility chart that's gonna show you the approved cards for the Dell PowerEdge R650 server. And do us a favor, if there's any cards that are not on there that you use at home, because let's be honest, there's a ton of cards that will work that aren't on the approved list. And if you have some cards that you like, hey, drop a comment down below, help the other users out. Let's hop in. All right, well, what types of cards are there? Well, there's two types of cards. You're gonna have your OCP 3.0, and this is what we recommend to use because essentially it won't use one of your PCIe slots. There's a dedicated spot in the back for this, so this is what we recommend. And the other option is the PCIe card. So you can get a PCIe network card and pop it into one of your PCIe slots, and technically you can do both. So if you wanna have an OCP, but you want more network ports, hey, drop in a couple of PCIe cards. You can, you can do both, uh, but those are the two types of cards OCP 3.0 and PCIe. So what are the compatible interfaces? We have RJ45, which is another way of saying Ethernet, which is uh, perfect for the home lab users. You have SFP+, SFP28, QSFP28, QSFP56, and fiber channel. So those are gonna be all of your compatible interfaces. So what are your speed options? Well, you can get one gigabit, 10 gigabit, 25, 40, or all the way up to 100. And if you're using fiber channel, you can get 16, 32 or 64. So these are gonna be your options for speeds. All right, well now that we know more about the types, the speeds, the interfaces, let's show you how to physically install them. But before we do, I'm gonna grab my ESD gear, be right back. All right, have my ESD gear on. We're safe to handle the parts, work on the machine. So we're gonna go ahead and put our parts to the side and we're gonna go ahead and hop in. So we're just gonna pop our latch, make sure it's set to unlock, remove our top, just like any server you've been in before. So what we're gonna be doing in this video is gonna be all focused back here because we're working on the network cards. So again, there's two types of cards, the OCP 3.0 and the PCIe. So we're gonna show you first how to install the OCP 3.0. Both of them are gonna need us to remove riser two right here. So we're just gonna push our blue button down and then lift this straight up. So push this down and then just come straight up. So we're gonna put this to the side for now since we're doing the OCP 3.0 first. So what we're gonna need to do is remove the blank that's in here right now. So just push this down and it'll pop out. And then you're gonna take your blue clip, pull this up, and then you're just gonna slide this in. So you do need to line it up in between uh, the two black plastics. There's a little groove in there, so just line it up and it'll slide in nice and smooth. You'll see it come right back in and it'll hop into the connections. So now we have it firmly in there and just lock it back into place. It's that easy to do. So I didn't have it fully in there, so that actually works out well for the video. So you can see I needed to push it just a little bit more in so that the blue would go all the way down. So just push it a little bit more in and make sure it's firmly in there. And you will see the green is basically touching this black piece back here. So that's about how far you will need it in. There's not much of a gap, if any, in there. So that's how you would do the OCP 3.0. Now what you'll need to do is uh, the PCIe. So we already have our riser out. So again, if you're gonna remove it, just push the blue button, pull it straight up, and then we're gonna put it in to our slot right here. So what we need to do is to remove the current bracket that's in here. So this will just pull right out. And once we pull this out, we're just going to simply remove our current bracket. So now we have space to install our card. All right, so you need to make sure to pay attention to the bracket itself and to the leads right here. So you're going to install the, uh, the tip down here and then just connect everything. And do notice I have a low profile. So we're just gonna line everything up, slide this in nice and safely. Once you get everything lined up, you'll notice the leads right there. We'll just push them in. And now it's firmly in there. So you can see there are uh, there's no gold exposed. It, wasn't perfectly in there, so I pushed this down a little bit just to make it nice and even. So now that it's fully in there, we're gonna take our bracket and just simply lock it back up. So now we have this perfectly into place. And then we're just gonna come back down 
And you'll notice there's a, a black hole right here, and then there's a, a silver hole right here that you're gonna line up, okay? As well as right here, I should mention. So I'm just gonna go ahead and line all these up. And then just come straight back down. And then once you come straight back down, you're just gonna wanna push it in and make sure this is nice and flush. And then once this is nice and flush, we can put our lid back on and we're good to go. So that's how you would install both types of cards, your PCIe or your OCP 3.0. Hey, if you made it this far, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any upgrades, you need some network cards, do visit our R650 page or any of our other server pages for that matter. And we do have network cards so you can get upgrades specifically for the different types of cards. Or if you need a custom built server, we custom build R650s or any other type of Dell server for that matter. We do new and we do use. We do HPE, Super Micro, Cisco, IBM. We do custom gaming chassis. So if you you need an ASRock, if you need a Gigabyte, if you're looking for Epics, if you're looking for Ryzen's, we do all sorts of builds. So we would sure love the opportunity to earn your data center or your home labs business. Please email us at sales at cloudninja.com. That's sales at cloudninja.com. Thanks for stopping by guys. Take care.